Hi, this is Toys Bag Zen, and this is part two of my vintage Panache Place Voltron repair. I did some paint work, I transferred a sticker from one line to another, and I also made a part for the black line, I made the headpiece. If you haven't had a chance to look at my part one video, I recommend doing that first. time to do the chrome and the chrome takes about three weeks to dry and the best chrome that I've used is the Molotow chrome pens so I'm going to uh, pretty much the the <laughs> pretty much the blue red and green are just as bad as the other Probably the red is the worst, but I'm gonna film doing the the blue one anyway, and you'll see how this transforms from a kind of, well, it's already transforming already because of the, the paint that I've done, but you'll see how it transforms from a ratty looking toy to something that's sparkly and looks clean and and almost new. And, uh, and then in three weeks, after I get all of these chromed, I will reveal the toy. This is the future. This is the future. Human error.
This is the future. All right, that looks much better. And that took a while. I've got four more lines to do. The yellow and the black one are not that bad at all, but I've got uh, a lot more work on the green and the red. So I'm gonna do this off camera and uh, we'll come back and make that clear piece. This is the last one, but this one is really bad. Hardly any chrome on that. This is gonna take a while, but the four of them are done already. Let's get this one done. Okay, now let's make the clear canopy. Okay, so I've cut my acrylic. I'm gonna be using acrylic to make the canopy and it's clear. First attempt was to actually take the acrylic and try to cut it and shape it first. And then I was gonna cut and shape the side pieces and then glue them together. And I found that that was gonna take way too long my second attempt this acrylic to see how it would bend with a hot gun and it actually bends really good I started uh, bending it to make the shape of the canopy <clears throat> and as I was doing that I realized that it's probably going to be easier to shape it if I try to shape the canopy after it's been cut that's why I use the original uh, one to make that shape if you don't have an original canopy then you can take a screenshot here. Now I made this oversized and I'm gonna cut it oversized. All right, so I'm just gonna double side tape this to the acrylic and we're gonna cut this out. Now I'm going to be using a heat gun to do this. Most acrylic will have a protective plastic on it. You want to take that off before you start heating this up with a heat gun. Otherwise, the protective plastic will melt to the acrylic and then you're not going to get a nice clear acrylic when you're done. Get this double-sided tape off. And this gets really hot too, so don't touch that once it starts going. So what I've got, I've got my um, block of wood here and it's clamped to here. And then I've got my heat gun clamped to the block of wood. That way I can just turn it on and then work and not have to worry about holding the heat gun. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn this on, let it heat up a bit. I want to use the original canopy as my template to kind of wrap it around it. I don't think it'll hurt this because the plastic doesn't get that hot. We're going to make sure that we keep the plastic 
pretty far away. And here we go. So there we go, that's pretty much the basic shape that I'm looking for. Now, I'm going to try to get this a little bit better. As we know, the top, I'm shaping this from the top of this. So this uh, shape is actually larger because, well, we've got, we're doing the, lar we're doing the top profile, which is, will be larger than the profile inside. So I'm gonna spend some time off camera and uh, I'm just going to be heating little sections of this up and bending them. And perhaps I'll take some files and file the shape a little bit closer because the shape is not quite exactly what I was wanting. But once I shape this out, shape this over to here a little bit more and sand the bottom of, of it so that both sides are evenly um, the same height, I think that this will give us a good starting point so i think that is the method i'm going to be using to finish this canopy and this is exciting for me because we could use this method to make canopies for gi joe vehicles like sky strikers and the x30 canopy for possibly millennium falcons and stuff i've tried 3d printing millennium falcon canopies and the 3D printing, even the resin 3D printing, just doesn't come out clear enough like the acrylic does. So this is the way to go. I'm going to spend about 20 minutes to half an hour filing this out and getting it shaped. And I've also got to make the I'm going to make the um, the hinge too. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the hinge like that. It looks like a pretty complicated hinge to make. So I'm going to simplify the hinge a little bit, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I've used the heat gun to make my canopy. Now I'm back home from the shop. And uh, this is what I ended up with. I think it looks fantastic. Really surprised how well this stuff heats up and bends. And the thing about this acrylic is I heated this thing up probably a good 30 times until I got the shape I was looking for. And as long as you don't put it too close to the heat gun, it will not melt. I mean, it gets soft, but it won't melt. Now, there was a, a point where I did uh, get it a little bit too close right here, and it did start to melt. And that's because I was like... You know, I was about this far away. I got impatient. But as long as you're about about six inches away, if not more, and you move it back and forth, it keeps the acrylic really nice. And it will turn a cloudy white, but then when it cools off, it goes back to super clear again. So this is what we got. So really close to the other one. And I did the hinge a little bit different. I'll show you why here in a minute, but I also get the latch on the front. I don't know if you can see that or not. I still have to make the hinge, but I'll show you how I'm going to do that here in a minute. But once that hinge is in there, it actually locks in the front. So there's a little piece there that clips in. So how I'm going to do it, you can see the hinge on this one. This is going to be a really difficult um, piece to shape and get on there. And I mean, I could do it, but I've spent a lot of time 
on this. So I've come up with an idea. I left a little bit of a gap here on both sides. And what I'm going to do is I made this piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that. I'm going to glue that like that. And then I'll take my nippers and I will shape this and uh, make little pieces here on the ends fit the little holes that goes on the back of the line here. I'm just going to use uh, crazy glue. I still find crazy glue to be strong anyway. It's just, uh, it's just messy. But it does do a strong bond. If you have lots of area to glue. Which, that's the reason why I made this piece the way it is. So, um, if it, when it glues on there, it's going to be really strong because there's a lot of area that's glued together. Now I've got the hinge glued to the canopy here. And now there's a, just a little bit more shaping to do. It's a little oversized and I knew it was going to be, but I needed it to be oversized so that I can shape the hinge so that it will fit into the lion. So I'm just going to take some clippers and some files and we'll shape this and see if we can get it to fit. Okay, I've made my hinge, you can see that. And uh, it's not perfect, but once it gets put on there, you will see that it fits on and then it snaps in. And it's secure. So I think that is a successful way to make clear canopies. It works really well. We'll compare it to the green line here. I'll get the canopy on. And I think that looks fantastic. I'm really happy with the outcome. So here we have a functional canopy now that looks really good, nice and clear. And I made the earpiece. We did all the chrome. We can take a look at the, the blue line here. You can see all the chrome, really nice and shiny. And we also did all of the paint on the lions. You can see the paint work here, get some white some black that was the only paint that I really needed to do was the white and black on all of these and uh, just on the noses and we also transferred uh, this sticker over to the line that we're going to keep now I do have all the other lions that I uh, use the parts for for these lions and uh, we also uh, repaired the other black lion that I had in my collection in my first video so make sure you check out that first video if you haven't seen it already i also need to get some stickers here i've contacted toy hacks to see if they can make me some stickers uh, for these two canopies um, i can't really seem to find any good stickers out there i don't believe that these stickers came on sticker sheets and were applied i think they were applied in the factory so if anybody knows anybody who might have some scans of some flat stickers or some reproductions or anything like that, let me know. I would love to be able to put some reproduction stickers on here and uh, have them looking really good. So thanks for watching this episode of Toys Bag Zen. I hope you enjoyed that. I really had a good time getting these done. It was it a month. It was kind of a month process doing this, getting all the parts and trying to figure out how to make this mostly was the hardest part I think of this restoration uh, waiting for the chrome to dry I, I gave it about three or four weeks and I think we have some really cool uh, lions that we can make into the full Voltron robot in my next video I'm going to be taking the Panache Place three and three quarter figures 
I'm going to fix a leg, and I'm going to whiten the white Voltron Lion drivers. Stick around for that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell for new videos, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these repairs and how would you go about doing something like this if you uh, were to do it yourself. Thanks for watching. See you later.